We're going to insert the first aligners in the patient's mouth and we're gonna start with the lower aligner. Take the aligner and they match. You can see exactly where they line up on the teeth and you just gently press down everywhere on the biting surface of the teeth. You want to make sure that the aligner is properly seated everywhere and you can tell if there's no void between the tooth and the actual aligner. If you see a space and there's a void, then it's improperly fitting. And then you wanna go back and you wanna press down everywhere to make sure it's fully in place. We're gonna insert the top aligner now. Just match it up and press everywhere on the biting surface of the teeth. Make sure to go all the way to the very back and press. For the first few days after you get your first aligner and each new aligner you go into, you want to really encourage that tray to seat properly and you can do that by chewing one of these and we call them chewies. So they almost look like a piece of rubber thick gum and you take the chewy and you just bite down everywhere. And you'll notice that you might hear the tray crunch down and this will really help seed it into its proper position. So with the chewies, you wanna chew these for about 15 to 20 minutes. For the first three to four days, you, you start a new aligner. So to remove the aligner, you never wanna take it off from the front. This will cause a hairline crack and this will break the aligner. You want to always go from the very back. If you have a little bit of a nail, it does help. And you just gently lift up and you work your way around. For the top aligner, we're gonna remove it the same way. If you find that you have a lot of attachments on the outside of the back teeth, you might, it might be easier to take your finger and actually remove the aligner from the inside back and then just work your way around. So you always go from the back first and then you just work your way around. As a rule of thumb, every time you remove the aligners to brush your teeth, you always want to clean the aligners. Just like plaque will grow around the gums and on the teeth, they're gonna grow on the aligners. So what you wanna do is take a soft bristle toothbrush and you want to either use a non-abrasive gel toothpaste or you can use polyvin foam pump. Take your toothbrush, take the pump, and you just gently pump the foam onto the brush and clean everywhere in the aligner. Get into all the crevices inside and out. And you can do this every time you remove these to brush your teeth. Rinse it and it's ready to go back in the mouth. As another option to clean your aligners, you can also use Polydense Retainer Cleanser. Just use room temperature water, put it in a glass of water with your aligner and drop in one of the tablets. And it only needs to sit for five minutes. To keep care of your aligners, you'll leave with two different cases. One case, you can keep your current aligner you're wearing. Since you'll be wearing the aligner all the time, to make sure you don't lose it and to keep it safe and intact, you always wanna keep it inside the case when it's not in your mouth. We always ask patients to keep the last two aligners in case you need to fall back on, a on one of the trays if you're not ready to progress into the next one. So the red case you can keep for your last two aligners. If you're having problems removing the aligners with your finger and you don't have too much of a nail, you can always use this little slingshot. This slingshot has a little lip to it and it will allow you to remove the aligner inside the mouth a little bit easier. Each visit will deliver your new sets of aligners. We'll always give you the required prescription of how often you need to wear it. You always wanna follow the doctor's orders. Generally, each aligner you'll wear for about two to three weeks.